All right, hey everybody, this is Jack and welcome to your futures free video. It's pretty short and sweet, it's very straightforward, um, and there's a small correlation that I wanna bring to your attention to give us an idea as to not to so much what to expect for tomorrow, just going into the long weekend, but what to expect Monday. And I wanna bring the first thing to your attention down here on the dollar. So uh, dollar sign DXY, nice little dollar index to follow. You can see four hour chart on the right hand side, middle daily chart on the left hand side, a weekly. Um, kind of backwards from right to left, from small to big. But these three time frames here um, show us one thing that's very interesting and it's the middle. Okay, we know the direction of the dollar. It's been going higher ever since you know October, but more specifically, for the past week or two, um, it's been you know continuing to push. Uh, but now, like I said, focusing on the middle chart here, right here at the bottom, that's where the squeeze has fired on the dollar index. So what does that mean? Well, what we can do is try to expect a reversion to the mean back down to about 98 half or 98, um, which would be not so much a options play on the dollar at all. I'm teeing us up for the idea, going to the other chart, of if the dollar pulls back and if we can bring enough power points to the correlation of the dollar and equities can we expect equities to go higher if the dollar takes a break i'm thinking yes that's what this video is about the straightforward of it is can we continue to retest that really key level at 4500 um, not so much this week this message is not so much for tomorrow it's more about monday tuesday are we going to wake up on Monday with a little bit more strength and continue to trade higher? If so, the whole idea here is you have until basically tomorrow if you're wanting to hold uh, an over weekend position, which is totally fine, I think, over a holiday. Um, you know, if you wanted to have something uh, bullish into other equities like Tesla for earnings or something like that. This is kind of your time before it starts to go back into 1100 where it likes to trade or something like that. If that were to happen, what I'm saying is you can jump in, um, you know, tomorrow and we'll be looking for a continuation of strength after all this, you know, short week is all taken care of. Uh, and everyone seems to be still very bearish on this market, which I think right now is a mistake. So if you wanted to play futures on the NASDAQ in the form of long calls or selling a put credit spread, I like to go with the triple Qs. And, um, you know, we, I, don't, I don't think we should be calling this trying to catch a falling knife at all. I think there is enough room here on the, um, the three in the past three days for us to be holding 339 on the queues um, you know I, I'm just kind of drawing this correlation I'm I, I'm somewhat picking at straws in a way I feel like I am but in this market uh, it's kind of easy to pick for straws I mean look at the volatility that we've had we've had the last Tuesday sell-off which is wicked uh, what we had yesterday it, you know Tuesdays are very unforgiving you know, because why? Well, on Monday, you have a little bit of, you know, action to the downside, but it's not crazy. And then you have the gap up Tuesday, and then that just continues to sell off with your last hope kind of being this Wednesday, which has started some of the battle. But, um, you know, if we're going to go higher, we have this big space to crush through. Um, and that's going to be, you know, we'll be a lot more bullish on things 14,350. So at 14,350, you go, well, why that level? Well, that's back to where we were trading last week on Friday um, before our weekend that we had this week. So, you know, going back to where it makes sense for things to be trading is a little bit higher, not to mention you have some max pains and open interest that's, you know, clearly out of the money, way up there at 3,500 on SPX. Um, I'm sorry, I said 3,500, my, my bad. 4,500 on SPX. Uh, and then the NASDAQ, that can go, um, well, what, I, what we've been using and talking about is just NASDAQ futures. You can also trade NDX, that's 
Um, it's a nice one. NDX and the triple Qs. Uh, but NASDAQ futures, we're targeting 14,500 on Monday or Tuesday of next week. So this is all kind of getting us prepared uh, for what can be uh, coming into our very near future whenever everyone's expecting... Uh, the sentiment I'm getting uh, in the trading world is more like, um, you know, tech is not tech earnings are not going to be as spectacular as they've been in the past. Well, gee, you know, I'd expect something to change. <laughs> so let's let's let the uh, the fear settle in. Let's try to buy this, and we can do this um, trading micro futures. We can do it uh, with regular futures for those that have a bigger portfolio. We can also do it with uh, QQQ, NDX, and uh, SPX call options and uh, verticals. So join me in the room. We'll talk about it more. Welcome if you're new and we'll see you in the next update. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to like and comment down below to help us out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get notified when we release our next video. And if you wanna watch us trade in real time using our own money, go to simplertrading.com to learn how to sign up. Good trading and we'll see you in the next video.